Roger, when I was a teenager back in the 1970s, I remember a song that came out talking about the age of Aquarius. Mm -hmm. And since then, we've seen the development of the New Age, and I wondered if back when you were involved in spirit worship, if they talked about New Age at all. Oh, yes. It was a big thing that uh, was coming up, one of the uh, major deceptions of the last days. Mm. And the priest <coughs> told us, uh, he had, we talked uh, quite a while, and uh, then he said, uh, could I have a little bit more of your time? I want to do something very fascinating. He says, the grain plain, the master's grain plain, for harvesting the nations, uh, for, for harvesting the multitudes of the earth into his cause, just before the close of the great controversy between the forces of good and evil. So he continued, you know, after we uh, express ourselves that we're deeply interested to know more about the activities of spirits. And he said, it's going to be done in a unique manner. This, this grain plain is, is, is going to take people, people are going to eat the stuff. Because he says, spirits, demon spirits, will declare themselves to be inhabitants of far distant planets in the galaxies that are coming to warn the inhabitants of planet Earth of the impending destruction of the planet unless something seriously proper is done to avoid it. There was a being standing there, just like Junior described, it was, that he saw on the river. It was three, three and a half feet tall. It looked like a child, um, not like a gray alien you would think about, people talk about. It was a little glowing color of the moon. You don't understand. We're not here to hurt you. We're here to help you. So he went on explaining about the fact that the spirits will show themselves willing to give valuable guidance that will not, not only help people avoid the destruction of the planet, but it will cause it to enter into a higher state of existence. For instance, he said, the spirits will, will uh, promise, and this is a big word, promise, that if their recommendations are followed carefully, they will usher in a glorious new age of peace and prosperity and there, there'll be, um, well, there'll be no more wars, you see. Uh, there'll be no more famines. There'll be no more uh, people getting uh, unhappy with one another. Neighbors will love neighbor. And uh, social unrest will not take place no more. It'll be sure, uh, there'll be <laughs> perfect happiness for a thousand years. That's what the Spirit is going to promise. She said... Um there's going to be trouble coming, and we're going to wake the people up, and we're going to let you do it. We're going to use you. We want to help you introduce us to the world. That's what she said. Was we're it, in Aquarius. We're in Aquarius yeah, right now. The, like that song, Age of Aquarius. Right, right. Oh, yeah, we were singing Age of Aquarius. <laughs> and what's the next one? Well, let me tell you what she told me. She said that there was a shift in the powers of the heavens and that she had been away. The feminine energy was about to come back, and there won't no stop in it, and that, that there would be a shift, and that that shift would be into Aquarius, and that the divine feminine would come back as the energy that would create a thousand years of peace. That's what she told me. There'd be trouble first, but in time, that peace would come to this world. 